What's up guys? Today's video we're actually going to start by taking uh, the wheels that I just recently purchased for powder coating. Yes, I got some 370Z uh, race. Got two rears, two fronts. Um, not sure what color I'm going to do yet. I guess I'll decide when I get there. I kind of want like a darker version of these, maybe just a slight darker. I was, also thought about a black chrome. Um, I was able to piece this set together pretty cheap. Um, and I'm talking really cheap. Thanks to uh, close friends of mine and Facebook Marketplace found some great deals. These are not in bad condition. Um, they don't have any rash ex except one wheel. Um, that's the only one with rash right there. She should be an easy repair. Uh, that one is just dirty right there. All right, there we go. I was able to fit all of them in the car. I got one in the trunk. So we're heading over to unit F14 powder coating in Dallas, Texas, and hopefully their prices are pretty decent. Um, I think it usually is about 70 to 80 bucks for a wheel to powder coat, uh, repair and powder coat. So uh, I think I'm gonna pick like a dark gun metal. So I'll show you guys the color scheme when I get there, or at least when I leave there, and I'll let you guys know what I went with. But yeah, 370Zs on the daily. I'm gonna run a 20 millimeter spacer up front to flush everything out. I didn't want to do four rears, so yeah, I got some wheels on the on the G now, so I'm pretty happy about that. I can toss these 18s out, and uh, I did lower the car on uh, iBox Springs finally, and it turned out great as you guys saw from the last video. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, guys, we're at Unit F14 powder coating right now. I'm gonna install my wheel spacer. I'm also putting on my tires. Take a look at the wheel spacer real quick. So, these guys are making quick work out of this. I mean, they already got two wheels off. One wheel's already getting mounted. Spacers are in. Sensors are in. This should look real good. I'll show you guys real quick the quality. I mean, we did the entire wheel worth every single penny. Over here to see some of the work that they do. Uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Unit F14 powder coated in Dallas. This is some of the work that they actually do here. That looks really nice. These are going on that Audi truck over there. But it's a nice color, man. This looks like headers over here. Oh, I'm not touching them. <laughs> oh, those look so good. What's up? Those look so good. Oh, yeah. Only thing I don't have, guys, is the center caps, which they arrive tomorrow. In the mail. And uh, as you can see, uh, these brakes look hideous. But I look forward to an upgrade in that in the future. I already have a BBK, just need rotors and brake lines. But the center caps will be in soon, and that should be all done. Oh man, this looks so good. Fronts have the 20 millimeter spacer flushed out completely, and the rears. Obviously, in the air, it's gonna look a little bit odd, but that looks so good. Can't wait to put the center caps on. Maybe I should start with a 275, but this is a 265. It still has some pretty good sidewalk. And those brakes look hideous. I can't wait to change them out. I'm gonna go ahead and let these guys finish up here, and uh, I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like once we get outside. But it's only one like one wheel left to put on, so go ahead and uh, finish up here. All right, guys, and we're outside right now. Different lighting, looks pretty good. I think the front's got flushed out well. The rears are uh, tucking pretty good. Um, only thing that I have to complain is my alignment wasn't the best. I got negative 3.4 camber in this side and negative 2.9 in the other side. So I gotta either go back to the alignment shop so they can fix it, or I gotta get a new new alignment person to fix my camber. These tires are not cheap. Um, by any means, so I definitely don't want to go through them. But hopefully, you guys can get a perspective of where I'm at. <clears throat> These are Continental DWS of sixes, so they're not cheap, and we want to make sure we keep them fresh. So that's my kind of fitment right there. I'm pretty happy with that. Well, now that you guys have seen the setup, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I certainly like them. Uh, I'm under a grand for uh, center caps, sensors. Uh, wheel powder coating the wheels themselves installation still well under a grand so I think overall this is a good deal obviously not tires included but hey what can I do this is still a pretty good budget for wheels um, for what they are and they're pretty light they're only like 23 pounds um, the rears and the front I think are like 22 pounds so I'm pretty happy with that guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section and thank you so much for watching like share subscribe see you guys later